guys, it's Samantha. Thanks for stopping back and visiting my channel. I wanted to do a final swap reveal before I finish wrapping everything up. Uh, I think pretty much everything has been wrapped up, but I decided that I really wanted to show you what was in some of the things. So I've got this pretty burlap drawstring sack, and in here, just a whole of rosettes. There are tissue paper, or excuse me, crepe paper rosettes, and regular rosettes, and stitched rosettes, and even these vellum shaker rosettes. Every kind of rosette. I actually made more. Um, so I love this one because it has the glitter put those back in. I'll be right back. I made these little altered uh, hangers. Sort of like little hanger banners. And I have another one, but I don't remember where I put it. Hopefully I will find that before I package these up. I also made several little shakers. These ones are little jar shakers, and then a bonus little heart shaker. So, these ones. This one I actually cut from 5mm craft foam that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then these ones I made using the layered paper shaker technique. This one was kind of cool. I alternated the colors of paper when I layered them. And then just bonus heart. I love shakers. Then I made an embellishment box, like a little mini one. I have it secured with a garment pin, just some charms. I will show you what is in there. Decorated it with my swap partner's name. And I did some stitching in gold thread and like did a layered look. And on the inside, I don't know if that's going to show up, but I did an embossing folder on some pale lavender cardstock and did some stitching around the outside. Then on the inside, we just have a whole bunch of embellishments, some little clothes pins, some binder clips some chipboard, um, random little pieces there, some sparkly foam butterflies, and then a whole bunch of bling, enamel dots and gems, and super cute. Then, being a card maker, I had to, of course, include a card some packaged surprises, some more packaged surprises. I did show this on my previous swap packaging video. I'm not going to open this up. You'll have to watch her video to see what's in it. This is my easel style tag flip, packaged up in some tissue paper and a little bit of holographic washi tape. It's a pretty tool. Then I'm gifting her some of these Valentine's Fruits treat bags. And I just have them held together with a binder clip. And I got her a little tumbler. And I put some of the candies she told me she likes inside. Filled it with a bunch of fun shred. Wrapped it in like a cellophane bag. Tied it with a beautiful golden bow. And of course, I had to add a keychain. She's going to have so many keychains. Oh my, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the keychains. <laughs> I showed you this in my last video. You will have to go watch her video to see what is inside of it. There is this. This beautiful keychain tassel ribbon. I showed this in my previous video. You'll have to go watch her video to see what is in it. And there was this little acetate pouch that I didn't um, 
are the innards too. I'll show you now. I've got these cute tiny little envelopes and a bunch of little tags. And I added some cute um, heart sort of confetti in there and this tag. I actually can't take this tag out because I will have a very difficult time getting it back in. Um, it's got lots of uh, shreddy layer stuff on there. I can't think what it's called. You use those like um, special scissors. So it was hard to get it in there. So yeah, I'm not going to take it out. You can see what it looks like when she takes it out though. And I tied uh, around the acetate pouch with this elastic stretchy gold string stuff. I'm gifting her some dimensional heart scatter. I did some stitching on the bag and added a cute little bag topper. I showed you this package on the last video, but I did not show what was inside. I'm going to show part of what is in there because I spent probably two hours making these. Not all of them are handmade. Some of them are store-bought, like these little pink and white polka dot ones. But all of these were die-cut bows. I die-cut them one at a time, glued them together one at a time. But they look beautiful, so definitely worth it. Then I'm going to show you what is in here. Tied it with this lace ribbon and I just wrapped it. Oops, sorry about that. I just wrapped it loosely with some tissue paper. And I got really smushed. This pink ceramic dish and I crocheted some tiny little hearts for her. Then I showed this in my previous video. I'm going to show you what is inside. I just took some pattern paper and made it into an envelope type bag pouchy thing. So in here, I have some rosettes. And I even put like very large chunky glitter in the package just I don't know it seemed kind of fun bag topper I got from a swap I did last year and yeah aren't these just pretty oh I stacked them up so many layers oh, sorry so many layers and glitter and I love them then I feel like the swap is getting to be like a little extravagant but I found this really cute pouch at Target I thought it would be absolutely perfect it has two zippered compartments in here I found this awesome deal on a huge pack of lip smackers and I already messaged her I promise I promise I promise I'm not sending you used chapstick I just got them in a pouch or a big package and I was like oh these would be perfect to share but they didn't come like sealed individually and I was like oh I don't want her to think I'm sending her used chapstick so <laughs> I was, had to like make sure she knew that I wasn't sending used because that's disgusting all right then in here I have a whole bunch of goodies I have this little Magnet it says be mine. Yes. No, I bought one for myself and I ticked no uh, There is some Really cute doodle bug donut shop washi tape Some foil adhesive labels Some clear tags. It looks like there's different patterns. 
some gem heart stickers, some sparkly gem cupcake stickers, and of course, it would not be a swap without some fun socks. Last but not least, I did something really fun. I decorated the inside of the box. Unfortunately, I can't really show that because it won't fit under my camera, but I added such a fun thing to the inside of the box. How pretty is this shred mix? I made it myself with a whole bunch of different shreds and foils and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. Inside of the box is like teal with pink hearts and has her name. So I will probably wait to upload this video until after she uploads her video unboxing it and also probably yeah I'll do that and then I'll tag her video in the description of this video so what do you guys think did I do a good job I think I did a great job maybe not as extravagant as some people do but for someone who's primarily just a card maker I think I did all right Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this super long video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.